Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got another race day vlog, as you guys would have seen yesterday. Um, attempting the GC double, 63.3 Ks over this weekend. Today is the half marathon event. I asked you guys to pray for good weather and it's currently lightly spitting. So you guys have let me down and I hate you. Unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So uh, yeah, we made it to the event and it's kind of cold, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to be taking the GoPro with me for the entire weekend. Um, I'm going to try check in every kilometre. Should be a bit of fun. We're hopefully pacing for the 90 minutes. Try to keep a lid on it. Don't go too hard. Just have fun. That's what this weekend's all about. Um, just waiting to link up with Tomo, who I'm going to be doing the whole weekend with. Uh, it was actually like refreshing this morning, just being able to kind of sleep in. Probably took us like five, ten minutes to walk here. It was bloody beautiful. Usually we're getting up at 3 a.m. And yeah, it was good for a change. Did you enjoy that, Michaela? Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, it was nice. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try and keep warm and try to link up with Tomo and then get ready to do this. It is bucketing down right now. Look who it is. <laughs> oh, he's not a patient on it. Matthew. Matthew. Who I'm the Matthew. hell is Matthew? No one calls me that. Who the hell? <laughs> I think I went no name, so. Oh, one minute away. Jump the gun. Alright, Gold Coast Half Marathon. If you're on the side of the street, because the cannon's right. We're on. First K in it. 4.20. 4.15. Not bad. Kept the lid on. Officially. I'm 5K cam. 21 minutes. Oh shit. Literally wearing the sunnies. Because I want to. Not because I need to. I literally can't see a thing. Fogged up. <laughs> nice one. Eight Ks, first gel. Sun came out. Go ahead. Let's go, Tim. Come on, Tim. You got it, bro. Oh, shit. Fifteen K cam. Hey, what's up, bro? Fifteen K cam. What was that one or two? Time for the last year. Oh, <laughs> Missed that. Hey. Goldie double. Oh, true. <laughs> Cheeky. That's gnarly. <laughs> At this pace too for the half, fucking week. <laughs> <laughs> You're nuts, bro. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> get in with us, we're going 128. Yeah, I'm trying to get settled here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll break the wind if you want. Yeah, I'll jump in. Jump in with us. I'm just there, so I'm trying to launch a sneak attack on him. Yeah, right. Yeah, we'll, the end, we'll, we'll get him. We'll, pick him. Go, go. <laughs> we'll get him, we'll get him. Just lock in. 
Yeah, yeah. I like it. I'm good, I'm good. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Cam, 1k to go. We're getting Darcy here, sub 128. Let's get it, boys. On pace. Thirty. Couldn't help myself. Bit of a sprint finish. Thanks, big dog. How'd you go, bro? Yeah, good, mate. Well Thanks, done. Thanks, well done. Smash it, bro. Very good. Nice. Couldn't help myself. I ran three thirties on the way in. I was just, just like so stoked. Like a little bit quicker than we planned. <laughs> oh, I reckon it was good. I reckon it was sensible. Sensible. Yeah. Sensible. <clears throat> Ready to go again tomorrow? I think so. It's mad how many people were tucked in on that group. Like that. Oh, we had a group of like, we would have had a group of fucking like 10. I was, every time we'd pass someone, I'd be like, jump on the train, brother. <laughs> and they would just jump. <laughs> they would just jump in. That was good. That was like, Jeez, that was, that was a good feeling. Felt like I felt like I got a PB. Don't mind if I do. I don't think I've ever needed to wee more in my entire life. I literally can't stand still. Probably look like an insane person. <laughs> got too much energy after a race. Man, I need to pee. Oh, here we go. Not mind about do. All right, here we go. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, oh and a t-shirt. Dave, Dave Runner. Thank you. Not bad. Not bad. Medal one of three. Looking good, mate. <laughs> Just waiting for a mate, literally. You're in it. <laughs> All right, so we made it home. Successfully made it through the sub 90 half marathon. You can uh, tick off the first race of the weekend um, and yeah, call that a success. So I just made it back for breakfast, got the go-to. I swear I say everything is the go-to, but this is the go-to. We've got uh, scrambled eggs with some chili flakes and then we've got some homemade bread with avocado underneath. 
Can't really see it. So what I think I'm gonna do now, or what I am doing right now, is I just did some foam rolling and I'm actually icing the knee to so that it is all good for tomorrow. And then what I think I'm gonna do after breakfast, is I'm gonna have a coffee and then I'm gonna walk down to the event and just um, have a look around at some of the tents and see who I can find that I, that I know and then just cheer people in. Um, it's pretty handy living literally a couple of hundred meters from the finish line. So I'm gonna take full advantage of that today and just, um, yeah, go full, full spectator mode. <laughs> there we go guys first race of two done half marathon ticked off not a bad looking medal oh and you know I had to wear the <laughs> so I thought I'd just do a little bit of a race recap um, at the end of each of these videos. Um, overall, the race went really, really well. I made it injury-free, problem-free, and I had a really, really good time. So yeah, really, really stoked with that. Uh, the overall result was um, an hour 27.20. So the goal was to go sub 90. Then uh, Tomo and I were in the starting pen and we ran into Darcy who is friends with Tomo, and he said that he was going for sub um, one hour and 28 minutes, so we thought, oh, well, let's pace him. Um, so it turned into a pacing job, and I've said this before on the channel, last time I did pacing, and it is just so rewarding. There's, it like literally feels like I got a PB, even though it was him that got the PB. That's just how good pacing makes me feel. It's the best. So. It's actually got me so fired up to, well, I'm not technically the pacer, Tomo is, but I'm literally just gonna pretend like I'm the three hour 20 pacer tomorrow. Um, and yeah, it's got me fired up just thinking about doing what I did today, but for so many more people um, and on such a bigger scale, um, which is the marathon. So yeah, really, really excited for that tomorrow. But let's just do a little breakdown of how the, the run went. So the goal was sub 90. Ran just over two and a half minutes faster. So that means that our 4.15 pace turned into 4.07 average. I said on my Instagram that the first K was probably gonna be hot. And I think we went hot out the gates, but because we had Darcy there to pace, um, it actually kept us in check for that first K. So the first K was the slowest, surprisingly enough. And the first K was four minutes 20. Um, at this stage, yeah, I was feeling pretty good. It was raining when we started. Um, it was windy, it was cold, it was pretty miserable, but the spirits were high, and it's kind of like a, you can't do anything about the weather, so fuck it situation. Um, and yeah, then we, we got in, we got rolling um, at like 4.14, 4.09, 4.07, 4.13, 4.09, 4.06. So it's sort of hovering around that 4.09 to like 4.12, um, and sometimes a little bit faster. Uh, so the goal for him was to run 4.10 pace, I think, on average, and yeah, we were pretty much just sitting around that for the entire race. He was doing a really good job. Tomo and I were um, breaking the wind a lot of the time, um, and he, we were just telling him to get in behind us, get on our heels, and hang on. And he pretty much did that all the way through. Um, the way the course works is went all the way out to Runaway Bay from um, from the Broadwater Parklands where we started, like just up the road from me. Um, we go out pretty much for 10K, turn around 10K back, and then that's your 21. Quick math, that was wrong, but you guys get the idea. Um, and it was actually so nice for the first 10K out. Um, wasn't really that windy. It was pretty nice, the, the sun came out, we were really starting to enjoy ourselves. We got to the, the turnaround and then just got smashed by wind. Yeah, it was actually pretty ridiculous. I remember thinking to myself, I'm so happy right now that I'm not gunning for a PB because this is not PB weather and I would be a little bit upset that it's been raining and it's so fucking windy and it would, I, there's no way I could run a, I could run a PB in those conditions. So I felt pretty bad for anyone that was going out for a PB that day. Um, and what was happening was we were staying on pace pretty well 
And as we kept gaining, or every time we took over a new K, we were sort of picking off people, like we were catching up to people, passing people. And as we were past people, I would just tell them to join our group. I'm like, sub 128, jump on the train, brother. I think I said that about a hundred times. Um, and then we eventually just got like this, a bit of a group going with the heaps of lads. And Tomo and I were just playing the brick wall at the front um, and just breaking the wind for everybody. And we're just telling everyone to get in behind us. Um, and it was, it was so much fun. Like probably, probably some of the most fun I've had in a race. Um, and I just felt like, I don't know. I just felt like, I don't know. I can't really explain it. Just, it just felt really, really awesome to like, feel like I'm helping somebody else out to get a PB. And it wasn't just Darcy. There was like so many other blokes that were there with us and we we're all just grinding together. Um, and cause it's a little bit, easier pace like it's a bit of an easier pace for Tomo and I like we we weren't really struggling all that much um, like it was still a good like a decent push um, but yeah it just felt good like having all smiles um, I'll put some photos up um, here of that that someone took of me while we were running out I literally have the biggest smile on my face it's 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 pretty funny so pretty much from the 16th K we ran a 405 and then we just progressively got a little bit faster each K. Tomo and I were like, let's bring Darcy home strong. We'll just gradually creep up the pace and just drag him along, keep him in it. So the last like five Ks were 405, 405, 404, 402. Oh, when I said five Ks, I meant like eight Ks. <laughs> um, the 20th K was a four minute split. And then the 21st K was a 355. And then when we, when you get to the, the 250 meters to go archers, I knew this was going to happen. I had the GoPro out, crowds of people are cheering, like go Dave, just cause it's written on me, me bib, um, go Dave, go Dave. And I was like, Oh, I'm, I'm just going to like give it a little mini send at the end there. Um, just pick up the pace and like, just enjoy striding out on the blue carpet. Um, and yeah, that was, that was really, really fun. I remember looking down at my watch and I was running 3.30 pace. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was a really good time. Came over that finish line, holding the GoPro, of course. And, and yeah, it was happy days after that. How am I feeling right now? Not too bad. I just iced my knee before when I was having lunch. Um, I'm going to give him a bit of a foam roll as well. Um, but the, the plans for the rest of the day is pretty much just chill out. We took Chili for a walk. Chili's my dog. Took Chili for a walk earlier. Um, I just wanted to keep moving. Uh, and to be honest, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I think because it was a subpar or sub maximal effort, like it was, I don't know, I guess a bit of a threshold effort. Um, I, I shouldn't pull up too sore. I'd be a bit up, bit, I'm a bit worried if I was super sore tomorrow morning, but I guess we'll see how we go. But yeah, the idea for the rest of the day is to just sort of chill out. But yeah, I just wanted to like do a little quick recap of it so that um, just while it's fresh in my mind and um, I don't completely forget what happened today because of what's about to happen tomorrow, which is going to be twice as big. Well, yeah, obviously literally twice as big and um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty crazy day. So yeah, I just wanted to j quickly jump on and give you guys a bit of a recap. All right, so it's now five o'clock. Um, I've pretty much just done not much at all all afternoon um, but one thing I did do was my flat lay and I forgot to film it idiot so it's now dark and yeah I'm gonna show you guys with the lights on hopefully it looks alright but this is what we're working with alright hopefully this looks alright but this is what we're working with for tomorrow so I got the LSKD run club t-shirt that I've cut <laughs> I've cut the sleeves off and I've also cut shorter because as you guys know, I'm a midget. I'm gonna be rocking the Saucony hats with the Saucony elites and the bright pink socks. So should be easy to spot me out there. Um, I've got the classic Oakleys that I wore today. Number 6,600, my lucky number since birth, like I said earlier. And I'm gonna be carrying five gels on me. So one gel I'm gonna have probably on the start line or within the first K or two. Um, and then, yeah, the rest I'm gonna have probably every 45 minutes, I reckon. Usually it's every half an hour, but 
Um, this time, because I'm running a bit slower, I'm gonna be on my feet a bit longer. It's probably gonna be every 40 to 45 minutes. Got the pillar and the before you speak coffee, again, essentials. And gonna be finishing off, I've got the LSKD tights, which are perfect to run marathons in, because I got those pockets on the sides, which you can fit a bottle in there, which I'm gonna be carrying it, but you can fit so many gels in there and it's so comfortable. It's just, I just find them the best to run marathons in. I think I've run three marathons in them now. Um, and I've got this LSKD flask, which I'm gonna be putting electrolytes and carbs in. Um, I'm gonna be carrying this from the gun. Um, and I'm gonna be sipping on that. I'm gonna be seeing Michaela at about 32K. Um, so she's gonna have another bottle ready full of the same stuff that I'm gonna swap out if I feel like I need it or want it or can be bothered carrying it. Um, but I'm just gonna have it there for Justin. Um, just in case, if you're not Australian, you don't get that joke, but. But yeah, this is what we're working with. Hopefully looking fresh tomorrow. Keen to see all you guys out there on the course. And we've made it to another dinner. So we've got the coconut beef pasta, the go-to. Have this before every marathon that I've done in the last three, three years? No, not three. Two years? Maybe a year. Maybe a year? <laughs> Here it is in all its glory. All right, it's come to that time of the night where I sit down on the couch and we watch some Demon Slayer and then go to bed. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, pray for good weather tomorrow. I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys know the drill. I'm going to bed and then, um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for, for the big dance, the Gold Coast Marathon. I look forward to it. See you later, guys.